Hi everyone, happy 60th video. This is the 60th video I've done on the Illuminati and such. Now, Prince, he was said to have died in an elevator. Now, we're supposed to believe that he died of natural causes, but what if he was actually murdered and it's a conspiracy? Or it's a cover-up? Because it's just like in this elevator scene in Captain America the Winter Soldier, when these guys tried to kill Captain America. These are members of Hydra, but uh, they pretend that they're a part of S.H.I.E.L.D. And you see how this guy's bold and this guy's bold? Just like this Illuminati clown is bold. Because these, these two guys represent this Illuminati clown. Because you can't, you can't see it well, but he's actually got a wig on this clown. <clears throat> anyway, Hydra, it says they are a terrorist organization. Just like this Hive terrorist organization in Arrow. It's because Hive and Hydra represent the same thing. Now, this Electro character, he brings electric, just like Thor does. <clears throat> you can see him right there. Just like the virus in Scooby-Doo and the Cyberchase represents the same thing. But that virus also represents the virus that is coming in real life. Now look at this Google Doodle. You see how Shakespeare is shaped like a pyramid? Just like the Illuminati pyramids and just like the pyramids of Egypt. Let's see here, this dragon rising up, just like the in the Bible, the woman and the dragon story. And here, this represents witchcraft rising up. And here you've got the cross for Jesus Christ. And here's the sword that represents Excalibur. Even in this Star Wars The Old Republic, Knights of the Fallen Empire thing, it says the final chapters are approaching. Just like in this Resident Evil thing, it says the final chapter. It's because we are approaching the final chapter in Earth's history. Well, the final chapter of the fourth age. Just like they have different ages in Lord of the Rings on Middle Earth, we have different ages in real life as well on the real Earth. Now, Lucy Pevensey in the Narnia films and stories, she represents the lamb. See, her hair is like, it looks either a brunette or brown or something like that. <clears throat> well, anyway. Yeah, the, um, this is your Obama-type character in the elevator scene in Captain America the Winter Soldier. But anyway, Lake Lucy. That, re that represents the Lucy character in Narnia. Harrison Lake, that represents Harrison Ford, who plays Han Solo. In Star Wars The Force Awakens and three other Star Wars films. Lotus Lake. If you replace the T with an I, you get Louis Lake. Just like... um. King Louis of France and uh, King Louis is a character in in the BBC's The Musketeers. And here you've got Lake Anne and that represents Louis's wife Anne. I can just find her. 
her. And just because th this Anne has an E on the end doesn't make any difference because that's how the Illuminati trick people. They just, oh, we'll just add an extra letter in here so that um, so that people won't notice that it represents the same person. Even this foggy guy, who represents Jesus. If you want the reason why, check out one of my previous videos. Um, he's a he's a character in Daredevil. Um, but anyway, foggy. He was represented here. This foggy bar place, see. The amazing video game visor that transforms games into virtual reality worlds. This, or something similar, was featured on the Paul O'Grady show. I think it was last year or the year before. You see how it says Oculus, and it represents the Oculus Rift, just like the Oculus on Eevee that stars Karen Gillan. You see it's got an eye on it, just like the Illuminati eye. They got the visors over their eyes. Just like this guy right here. And then here you've got Union Hill and Union Road. Just like your Union Allied in Daredevil. But also Union Allied represents the European Union and the Transatlantic Union. Because it it means we are allied with the Transatlantic Union and the European Union. <clears throat> See, Clark Gregg's character, Phil Coulson, he represents our shield. And unfortunately, we will lose our shield. And you see he's wearing blue, because blue is the colour of the light and Jesus and God. Whereas, like, Hayley Atwell, she's wearing black hair, and she plays Peggy Carter. Now, she's dressed as Magnificent, just like Angelina Jolie was dressed as Magnificent for, her, for the Malice. For the Maleficent film. So. Um, Hayley Atwell. A.K.A. Peggy Carter. She has two sides to her. She has a bad side. And she has a good side as well. But her bad side is represented. Where she's wearing black hair. For the darkness. And then. <clears throat> we go over to her. Good side. Where she's wearing blue. For Jesus and God and the light. And this white bit here. That represents heaven. And then th this. Uh, hat that she's got on. Is red for like. Satan. So. Um, th this again. It represents blending the iron with the clay. Blending the red. With the blue. Blending the good with the bad. Blending the light and Jesus and God with the red of Satan. See here, this Angie character, she's wearing blue because blue is the colour of Jesus and God and the light. And... Here is our shield that we will lose. The shield organization in Marvel also represents Captain America's shield. So, basically, right? 
um, we have already lo lost our shield in one respect, when the shield organization fell and Hydra rose up. So the next thing will be the Captain America will fall and Iron Man will rise up. It's the same symbolism over and over again. And you think that Captain America's not going to die? Well, just look look at the the... Look at the beginning of Avengers Age of Ultron, and it seems likely that he will, because some people may think, oh, that was just mind control, but I think maybe it was sort of giving Iron Man a vision of the future. Where Captain America could possibly die, and possibly... Um, some of the other Avengers could as well. 